Welcome to wikidiki.com. Let's talk about the most important interview question and answer. My name is Venkat. I am a Microsoft Most Valuable Professional. You are able to see my profile in microsoft.com. And I got almost 16 international award and 9 awards after Microsoft. Let's move on. How do you handle your rude or upset customers? This is a question. So see, thing is like, uh, suppose a customer is there and is a bit upset. How you are going to handle it? That's one of the very important questions they may ask. Here is the key to handle the situation. First thing, remain calm. Don't take it personally. Use your best listening skills. Actively sympathize. Apologize gracefully. Find a solution and take your minutes on your own to resolve the problem. So here is a sample with a much respect and understanding. The first thing is to like remain calm. The number one rule of the customer service is to never lose your temper with the customer, no matter how rude he is being. Losing your temper with the customer will only escalate the situation and could quickly result in your termination. The second important one is like don't take insults personally. The key is to remember that no matter what the customer is actually saying, the real cause of this problem has nothing to do with you as a person. You should not take it into your heart. Repeat a calming mantra to yourself internally. And the final one is like a listen and learn what the real issue is. If your customer is being rude to you, it's possible that you are your co-worker made a mistake. Ah, perhaps the customer did not get something he was supposed to get. Whether or not the customer's behavior is appropriate to the situation, the key is to listen and try to understand what that actual situation is so that we can resolve it. Maybe this is one of the questions they will ask, why are manhole covers round? A round manhole cover cannot fall through its circular opening. Whereas a square manhole cover could fall in if it were inserted diagonally in the hole. Circular covers do not need to be rotated or precisely aligned when placing on the opening. A round manhole cover is easily moved and rolled. Here are some of the additional technical terminologies for this question. Round tubes are the strongest shape against the compression of earth. Around them, so the cover of the tube would naturally be round as well. It is easier to dig a circular hole. Round castings are much easier to manufacture using a lathe machine. These are some technical answers you can provide for this particular question. Here is the very important question. Are you a goal oriented person? Why the interview is asking this question? The question is asked for the very below reasons. To find out if you set goals in your work. To find out your focus on the goals and the things you hope to accomplish. And also to find out whether you have concentrated goals and detailed needs. Here is the sample. Yes, I am sir. I have several key goals to set for my role that I am seeking for to accomplish over the course of the coming year. Let me tell you about one that I recently accomplished ahead of schedule. So that you can give a typical example and explain how you have done it. Here is another example. Yes, I am. I have quite a few goals that I have set for myself in my education and career preparation, sir. An example of achieving one of my recent goals was securing an internship this past summer. You have to give you a typical example of how you reached your goal. So here is the next question. Give me an example of your time. You faced a conflict while working on your team. How did you handle that? If the interviewer is asking this question, you must, key, you must have these points 
as important one the first thing is that your interviewer wants to get a sense of how you will respond to conflict conflict questions are common because everybody wants to hire a good team player it is probably the most common behavioral question subject the interviewers often ask about your team experience and they like to ask specifically about one that involved a conflict or a difficult person so usually in a company you will have a lot of conflict situation if you start working as a team so they want to understand like how you are going to handle that conflict that's why they are asking this question so here is an example i recently had a conflict with an employee in another department who had a project which was dependent on work be work being done by myself and two other members of our team he had sent an email blaming us of interrupting his project i then glimpsed into our projects and timelines we agreed to have a timeline that would help both of us to meet our goals and the conflict was resolved before it became a major incident so i called for a meeting and discussed on it explained everything and resolved the problem this is the key points oh this is a different question sell me this pen or a suntan lotion here so they may give a pen to you and they will ask you to sell it okay so here is the four important skills sales skills the interviewer is expecting how you gather the information how you respond to information how you deliver the information and how you ask for something to close it how you are going to sell it okay this is how this is the expectation of the interviewer here is a simple sales framework find out how was their lastly used pen when you used it and how is the pen and afterwards you emphasize the importance of the activity by responding to the information by telling about the present one which you want to sell sir this is the pen which is really damn good when compared to your previous pen this pen have multiple qualification or something like that you have to emphasize sell something bigger than a pen like a state of mind so you have to expand or you have to explain it more in depth the importance of buying this pen and finally ask them to buy it and close the business here is another question why do you want this job how much seriousness you got for this particular job here is the hint show how your skills match show your enthusiasm for the job and show how you fit into the culture here is the sample i like to gain experience in this line of work because i feel that it will perfectly suit my skills i feel i should have direct hands on knowledge or experience in this position at this stage of my career i see this company not only as a positive work environment but also as a good opportunity to have my skills and qualifications to make a difference maybe this is another question they will ask why should we hire you let's see the answer here is the hint why should i hire you is another common interview question that can take you down the wrong road unless you have done some thinking ahead of time if the interviewer ask you why should we hire you in an interview the interviewer is giving you the opportunity to sell yourself think of yourself as a product and why should the customer buy simple you have to justify why i should hire you this is the sample i think this is a big platform for me to start building my career my passion for excellence and more over sir i'm passionately committed to producing truly world results at any given time i'm prepared to further and gain more practical skills and knowledge well i believe that i am perfectly suitable candidate for this position you are entering for i try under pressure i'm hard working and i have no problem in working at odd hours 
and I have a great desire to work in this area. This is how you have to answer this question. Now, here is the most important, the first question which the people will ask in the interview. Tell me about yourself. Hint. It's the most often question and you need to have a short statement prepared in your mind. Talk about things you have done and jobs you have held that relate to the position you are interviewing for. Here is the other way to ask the question. Tell me about something about yourself. I read your resume. Tell me more about who you are. Maybe they may ask who is maybe your name, Venkat. Who is Venkat? Maybe they may ask like this. How would other people describe about you? So, if you are a fresher, this is our answer. About you. Hello, sir and madam. It's my pleasure to introduce myself. I'm John. Your name? Completed my engineering from ABC College. The second thing is like about your degree. I've completed my schooling in ABC Higher Secondary School with 87 percentage. Now you need to talk about your family. Coming to my family, my father is a businessman and mother name, my mother is a housewife. I'm having one brother studying class 10. To my hobbies, my hobbies are solving puzzles and surfing internet and drawing. If you want, you can add further into this question. My long term vision is to get placed in a reputed company like you and enhance my technical skills even more better than now. And my strength is I'm more aggressive and interested to learn and acquire new technological concepts. So these are the things you need to cover up for freshers. Considering you are an experienced candidate about you and goals and maybe you can add it your strength. Hello sir and madam, it's my pleasure to introduce myself. I'm George, having three years experience as a developer in a corporate sector. Successfully completed the online projects for the international clients within the stipulated time. I'm involved in software testing and documentation, analysis of the business requirements and the software requirement specifications. About my goals, my ethics is I never neglect an opportunity for my improvement and basically won't give up soon. I'll work for it until it's done. And finally on strength, my strength is I used to work in team and reach goals on time which always boosts me up to complete the works on time with perfection. Let's move on to the question, what is your strength? They may ask you this particular question in different manner like, what do you do best? What is an area where you are considered to be an expert? Is there an area where you can prove that you are the best? This is how the people will ask. Here is the hint for the question. It is important to study the requirement of the position before you appear for the interview. You need to list out your strength and offers the ones that this role demands. Now let's move on to the sample. I believe in myself that I can. Any work will be done with a magical letter called as confidence. I can adapt to any situations. My strength is my attitude. I would like to take both success and failure in the same manner. Here is the another sample. Sir, I consider myself as a quick learner who always want to learn everything for a particular job or for a particular position. I consider myself to be a highly ambitious, hardworking, quick learner and self-motivated guy which I believe are the essential qualities that anyone who wants to succeed in professional life should possess. I am a fast learner and self-encouraged person. Always, I like to work with a positive attitude in all situations. I have the capability to work with my team and implement new thoughts and new ideas. This is how you can answer this piece of question. Now let's move on to what is your weakness. So you need to discuss the weakness in positive ways. Highlight the points which will always show how you are plan to overcome it. 
Here is the other way to ask the question. What areas are you or your weakest? What are the areas where you need to improve your skills? Maybe they may ask, are there areas where you need to develop your skills further? What would your boss say is the area where you need to improve or you need improvement? Here is the sample. I am always willing to take up additional responsibilities but I end up being overworked so now I am realistic about what I can do so that I do work to the required standard. So you got a positive attitude with which may be a problem and you have to tell the recovery process too. If you lack certain technical skill which is crucial for the job, you can state that you are planning to take up a training course or certification to get overcome it. My weakness is straightforward. This is a strength. Because some people don't like and I can't say no when someone asks me for a help. These are all some of the weakness. That's it. Thanks for watching our wikitiki.com videos. And if you are looking for more videos, search for wikitiki interview tips on youtube.com. For uh, te technology related stuff, you need to go for wikitiki technology tutorials. For school related information, wikitiki school. And for uh, health and entertainment, you need to go for wikitiki health and entertainment. And if you are looking for more videos, you can subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, you can comment it in our YouTube channel so that our expert team will answer it. Here is our website and our Facebook URL. Thank you from wikitiki.com.